Hi guys, Amy Bath Bomb Addict. So we're going to spray some of these today in three colours. I don't know what to call them, so for now we'll just call them rainbow bombs. Woo! Um, so I'm going to spray them in blue. By the way, I'm using Easy Colours Water Soluble Dyes. So I'm spraying them in blue, pink and yellow. Now as you can see, it looks like it's been sprayed in a lot more colours than that because you can see greens, you can see a pink peachy colour and that's because of the overlap of colour which I'll show you as we go along. But what I'm going to spray today with you is one of these, a smaller one and then we're going to spray all them mooncakes and I'm going to show you just how fast you can do it with the spray bottle method. So, um, I don't know why I'm keep spinning these. <laughs> So right, so um, so right. We'll get started. So right. So first, I'm going to spray blue, and I spray three sections of blue. And then pink, as you can see, I'm going to spray a pink so it's overlapping. So you'll see that bit of blue turn purple, and then it'll be nice and pink there. Can you see? So there it's gone purple, because obviously pink and blue makes purple. So it's three lots of that. Oh, there. <laughs> so now, with the yellow, I'm going to spray the yellow here, and it's going to turn the pink a peach peach colour lot, and over the blue it looks green. So they're a lot of nice orangey colour. So there look, so there's like a peachy colour where I sprayed on top of the pink. There it looks amethyst where I sprayed on top of the blue and then we've also got green. So it looks like it's more colours than it actually is. So there we go, that's the first one done. Now we'll spray a little one. So again, oops. <laughs> bits of purple up. This is, as you can see, is a really fast It'll go green a lot because I'm spraying the blue. Now for the mini moon cakes. So blue, pink, so it's made blue, purple and pink so far. And then yellow, so it's going to look orange, and then yellow for the next bit lot. Blue again, which is going to make it go on top of the yellow overlapping, so it'll look a bit green lot. Pink again. Yellow. Now in the middle, I want a pink, I mean um, a yellow middle bit. And then I'm going to spray red over the top. And now, to finish this off, I have got my gold airbrush glitter, which is so sparkly. You probably can't see, so I've got my torch. Ooh, sparkly. So, in here, I've got my 91% rubbing alcohol mixed with some gold airbrush glitter. Give it a mix, you can see the kind of Consistency like paint, not too thick, not too thin. So dip your paintbrush in, dab a little bit so it gets the excess excess off, off. And very quickly paint the middle bit first. And then you don't have to do this, but I like to just do Now you can take your time a bit, I'm just trying to show you how fast you can potentially do them if you're wanting to sell them. You're wanting to do them fast obviously for resale, uh, retail. You're wanting to sell, do them fast because you're wanting to make as many as possible, as fast as possible so you can make more money. 
so I don't stop there, I go around the edges. Now when I first started doing these mini moon cakes I used to spend, and I'm not joking, about 10-15 minutes on each one. Which was fine for me because I just loved doing them and it was my hobby. But if you are wanting to eventually thinking about selling these then you're wanting to make them as fast as possible. So what I used to do, I used to paint them with a paintbrush and I used to paint each one of these individually different colours. And yeah, they look brilliant in the water and all that lot. But if I was wanting to sell them, I would get in about, not many done in an hour, put it that way. <laughs> about four an hour. I would take them too long. So there. So now in another bottle, I have got my gold airbrush glitter mixed with rubbing alcohol because I'm going to show you another way of do, um, using this glitter. So I've showed you how to paint with it, which makes sort of a mica look. But you can also spray with it like I've done on this bomb. Now I don't know whether the camera will pick up just how sparkly it is. So really, really sparkly in tip. So we're going to spray it. lovely sparkly so there you go so that's one done next we're going to spray all of these now with glitter I will be painting them after so I'll do few more with you just so you can see. So again, a new bit of kitchen roll. It would help if I put a mini moon cake on our back to <laughs> just spray plain kitchen roll. Right so blue, again the pink over the top and look how it just straight away has created three colours. Look at my hands. Um, so yeah, the pink, yellow, blue, oh, that's not where So the distance I'm sort of spraying at, don't do it too close, do it about that distance. another one done. Now I'm going to do these really fast without talking just to show you just how fast you can do them. So.
So this airbrush glitter in the water, you don't need poly for it. It's not like mica, which is what I love the most about this glitter. Um, it doesn't float to the sides of your bath. And of course you can use it in more than one way, you can spray